Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ashley Reed, and currently I am at school full time. Um, getting my degree is one of my many lifetime accomplishments that I would like to achieve. Um, as an actress, I would love to be a working actress um, someday, but like I said, right now I am going to school and taking care of my two girls. Very good. Can you please improv the scene um, with you and your um, one of your children from today? <laughs> Millie, stop throwing the food. You can just say, all done. No, I said, stop throwing the food. Please. Please. Oh, and there goes the diaper. <clears throat> and there goes the diaper. And the food. Okay. I'll, I'll get that later. I gotta go. <laughs> And very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, my name is Cheryl Strawmeyer. Um, I'm out of work now and I'm looking to get back into work and I also am taking this course to better myself and maybe someday be an actor. Um, and that's it. Good. Improv your, your, um, your next interview your next job interview as you're talking to the, your, your prospective boss. <laughs> My next job interview. That's yeah. going to be hard to do. Let me think of something. <laughs> what would you say to your next boss you know, to convince them to hire you? Um, oh gosh, I don't, I don't really know. All right. Well, we'll get you next time. Okay. Thank you. Good. Here we go. And please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Abigail Wingo, and I'm 16, and I'm a junior in high school, and I am currently homeschooled right now. Um, and so that's been giving me the opportunity to expand on all the activities that I can do. Um, so, and acting is something that I've always really enjoyed and I've always enjoyed entertainment. And so um, I'm here because I wanna get into that business and I want to, um, yeah, <laughs> there was something else. Please improv the, uh, the last argument that you had with one of your siblings. Ooh. Ooh. Well, <laughs> uh, I can't remember. We don't argue anymore. That's good. That's good. So okay. you want me to go, hey, sister, love you. <laughs> <laughs> Last argument you had with your parents. You still have those. <laughs> I don't re like, that's stuff that I don't remember. I, like, get it out of my head as soon as it goes. If it's over, I'm just like, yeah, forgiven. All right. All right. Improv the first um, interaction that you had with a boy that you thought was cute. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. That would be fun. Come on, give me something. I know you got it in you. First guy you thought was cute. He's right over there. Hey, Ian. What's up? <laughs> yeah. I agree. That totally makes sense. Yeah. So, how was your weekend? Was it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you later. And cut. <laughs> good. Camera, and introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Jennifer Lindsay. I live here in Virginia, but I moved over from England in 2001. Currently, I'm not working. I had a baby six months ago, my first little girl, and so I've been blessed to be able to stay home with her, but I'm going through the arduous task of getting back into the job market, so uh, looking at my prospects, I figured I would wind up my scope a little bit and rekindle my love for acting and see if it's something that I'm any good at and maybe it will go somewhere, which is why I'm here. 
Very good. Please improv how it, the interaction you would have if you ever met the Queen of England. Hmm. Am I supposed to curtsy? <laughs> Very nice to meet you, ma'am. So, um, one of your grandsons is still single, is that correct? <laughs> oh, very nice. Yes, this polo match, it is. It's very interesting. Yeah, I hope the blue ones win. <laughs> okay, I dismissed. I understand. <laughs> very nice to meet you. Hand cut. Very good. Well, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sophia Kane. I am currently a business analyst at Capital One, and I just got married this year. Um, to a Virginia boy. So I am a Texas transplant in Virginia, but I'm loving it here. Uh, one of the reasons I want to get into acting is it's something I've always wanted to do, but it scares me really badly. Um, so in order to do that and to really experiment in acting, um, getting comfortable, being on stage in front of people, expressing myself, thinking on my feet are all skills that I want to learn. And what is the, uh, uh, please, Please improv a, um, a, uh, an, an interaction uh, with, between two Texas young um, you know, uh, teenagers who kind of like each other. How would Texas girl and guy interact on a date? Am I the girl and the guy? Whatever <laughs> <laughs> <Have> you roll. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hey Susie, you want to go for a ride in my truck? <laughs> sure Jack, where do you want to go to? <laughs> well I figure we could just go to Dare Queen or something. <laughs> that sounds real nice, I'd really like a Sunday right now. Alright, well come on, let's go. <laughs> and, okay. Well done, well done, well done. Give her a, so give me a, a, um, a starter statement there, Sophia. A lot of the commercials in Super Bowl were about cars. Yeah, I thought so. Yes, I, and? Yes, and uh, I thought most of them were pretty interesting. There were a lot about beer, too. Yes, because everyone was drinking beer at the game, I suppose. True, and eating a lot of food. Yes, and? Yes, and eating a lot of dips and food. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't have more food commercials. Yes, you're right. Um, did you see that one on... Uh, Kim Kardashian. That had nothing to do with Super Bowl, do you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, but I wasn't really paying attention to the commercials. I was more interested in the game. It ended really well, I think. Yes, that was the best and worst ending ever. Yes, I think the Seattle Seahawks really needed to get a loss, especially a last minute loss. Seeing as I'm a Packers fan, they deserve it. Oh, wow. See? <laughs> yes. Yes! <laughs> that was quite a victory for them. Um, go Packers. Yeah. <laughs> Start us off with a starting statement. Um, can you believe all that uh, wintry mix closing down schools the other week? Yeah, I so saw so much bad weather on the news. Um, Make a statement back to her. There's Here. been all kinds of crazy weather going on. Yes. Yeah. Virginia is the worst place I've been with all different types of weather. Like goes from snowy to sunny to warm. What's your favorite season? Summertime. That would be my favorite. I hate the cold. Yes. How I've, about you? Oh, same here. I hate the cold. And action. <laughs> oh my it. gosh, this park. I'm allergic to like everything. My eyes are all puffy. Oh my gosh. So then why are you here? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering right now. Oh, there goes my. Oh, there goes my. 
yeah, my idea was for you to leave since you keep sneezing. Oh, but I, you said it was important and this is like the only day I could do it. There was something about, you know, this like magnificent idea for like, I don't know, was it a kid's park or like a monument statue? I can't even remember because my head is... You're, you're in a kid's park right now. Oh. Yeah. That would explain. Oh my god, someone took my cat, my kid, my child, someone, is, she's gone! She was on the slide just over there, and and I don't know. Maybe there was a like a guy in a hoodie. I don't know. The girl just gone. I think I saw him. Yes. Did Did you see him? I saw both. Who has a phone? Someone has a phone. My purse is gone too. The whole stroller is gone. Someone call the police, please. Some, please. Why are you on my car? My child. Did you? Okay, okay, okay. okay. What does your child look like? <laughs> She's small and has. Blonde hair. Mm -hmm. It was up in a ponytail. She had a she had a a blue hoodie on and like leggings, pink leggings. Oh, she uh. went to get some ice cream. With who? Who took her to get some ice cream? No one has permission uh, uh, no, to take I, my child. Yeah, I think I saw that too. She um she went with a man in a hoodie. You know, so I don't that know man? what that's about. Shut your mouth. <laughs> there is a little bug on you. I know. <laughs> I guess that's not the man. <laughs> no. Maybe that's what I was allergic to this whole time. Is the bug. Okay. Back to the, the issue at hand. Do you have a cell phone I can use, please? A cell phone? Yes, a cell phone. We can't have any radio waves. You're gonna kill all the bugs. <laughs> oh my god. We've got a knot on our hands. Can we can I anyone know. please have a cell phone? Well, I mean you heard what she said, it'll kill the bugs. She just went to get some ice cream. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, what, can I have directions to the ice cream man? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, that's a good idea. He, he probably has truck, all the bugs over there, too. He truck around the Lots of bugs block. buzzing around. The ice cream man just took the, the truck around the block. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, the thing is now, I don't know if I should call the police. Do you know where the ice cream truck went? I think it went down the block. Okay. See, she, I, she just said that. Go with all the blocks. Yeah, run down the. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, here's my little child. You were right. Okay. Great. I'm glad that worked out. Yes. And yeah. she is cute with those leggings. Thanks. Thank you. Did I hear you were gonna put like a statue or something in the park? I thought so. That's why we're here. Something about a kids park and a monument. Maybe a bug statue. Oh. That is a great idea. Do you have any funding for that? I could get funding for that. We, it would be a massive butterfly. Yes, we could do like a billboard. Why are you even here? <sighs> yes, and I know this. Look, I'm looking for a job at the moment, so maybe the person with all the allergies can let me step in on this project. Yes, that, that's a great idea. She's do crazy! You have experience? <laughs> I'm taking applications, apparently. She's crazy! Go, save your child! Hey, okay, cut. Cut. Pauline? <laughs> <laughs> And things you can say about your car, but not your boyfriend. Sometimes it just doesn't run right. Good. There's a lot of junk in that trunk. <laughs> Good. If you have another one, keep going. This is so filled with hot air, I can't even stand it. <laughs> Good. I had to slap it around to get it to work a little bit. <laughs> Hurry up, go faster. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Context. <laughs> Anything else? Unusual things for a TV or movie villain to say. Can't we all just get along? Good. All right, you can win this one. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Good. Unusual things for TV villains to say. I loved when you beat up that last villain. That was awesome. Good. Come on, you two. Start getting in there. Even though you are about to arrest me, I just need to tell you, I have always loved you. <laughs> I'm 
I'm out of here. <laughs> inner, inner, inner monologues of a mime. Why are all these people looking at me? Okay. Why is it always the box? It always has to be the box. Why can't it be the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sometimes I just wish I could scratch my nose. <laughs> you know they're taking pictures and no one's gonna leave any money. Good. Signs that your dentist just doesn't care anymore. Oh, they're a little yellow, but it'll be fine till next time. Good. So I see you got ten cavities. I can wait till next week. Well. I guess you haven't been brushing, so keep it up. Yeah. Unusual. Go ahead. You know, this is kind of bad for business, but I really don't see why you're here if you have no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Unusual protest chance. Unusual protest chance. We'll go if you ask us! <laughs> <laughs> I just had it. Um, is this where we get the bananas? We want more. We want more. This isn't the bananas. We want bananas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Inappropriate behavior for morticians. <laughs> good, 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 good. Now, Susie, doesn't Harry look like the best little husband there? You guys are such a cute couple together. Good. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> This leg takes two seconds to fold down. <laughs> this leg takes one second. That's very interesting. <laughs> Most random thing ever. Most random thing ever. All right, I'm gonna stick on this until you come up with something. Why is there an elephant on top of that building? Good. Everybody, gotta come up with a random comment. I'm a giraffe. <laughs> Everybody. Most random thing ever. It's Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Always towards camera, please. Uh, Last one. The most random thought you can think of. It should be the first thing that comes into your mind. Come on, Ashley. Open your refrigerator. Oh, milk, uh, cat food, kitty, get out. <laughs> He's going side to side to side to side. Touchdown! Yeah! <laughs> Good. <laughs> Things people say to make you think too much information. Mm, 
there was a little splatter when I went to the bathroom that time. <laughs> 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 Things you don't want to hear your barber say. Oops! You, you wanted purple, right? Good. Next, come on. Okay. Come on up. Okay, come on up. Well, I'll tell you when oh, you get okay. up there. <laughs> there you go. I'll right there. All right. Weird things to say to break an awkward silence. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Here's one thing. <laughs> Next. Sales pitch has gone wrong. So, if you just take this three times a day, then all of your acne will be cleared. However, there may be some toe fungus <laughs> that might actually stick to the, the floor. You might be there for a <laughs> Good. If Scooby Doo did politics. Wagon Sam is full of cake. The weirdo new president. We just need a dog for you in order to be happy. <laughs> Good. Didn't understand a word of it, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Star Wars scenes in alternative genres. You familiar with Star Wars? Mm -hmm. In alternative genres. Oh, can I bananas this one? <laughs> <laughs> Funny news headlines. Clown gets whacked by a monkey. <laughs> Good. Moves at 11. <laughs> Famous last words. Please don't forget to leave the dog. Let the dog out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Famous last words. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me something else. Um, see you tomorrow. <laughs> no, those aren't famous last words. Keep going. Like actual things? No. Oh. Hmm. Famous last words. I love you. Would that work? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, famous? Last famous words? last words. Um, you know, the last words. Basically, somebody's going to die. Right. And so what did they say right before they died? Please don't die. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. <laughs> You're going to be fine. All right, get out of there. <laughs> World's worst news anchor. So then I was like, shark ate arm. And I was like... And then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then there was that one time where I covered that story all the way in like Tahiti and I like pfft, drank the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, cha-ching, pay for my hotel, you know what I mean? And then... <laughs> good. Well done. That was good. That was good. Okay. Good news and the bad news. The good news and the bad news. Okay. The good news is, is that you survived. The bad news is, you'll be dead in an hour. <laughs> good. Good. Good news and bad news. The good news is, we found your puppy. The bad news is, it's not a puppy, it was a dog and now you have 12 more. <laughs> good, 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 good. Bad times to fall asleep. Am I supposed to act this or speak it? Both. Oh. Whatever you want. 
SAT. This is gonna be it. Gotta. All right. Two plus two. Good. Good. Thanksgiving traditions that didn't quite make it. Well, there goes the turkey. It's all burned out. Burned turkeys? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Weird lullabies. Chompy the alligator just wanted to say hi. He didn't mean to bite your little. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the meaning of life in the eyes of Michael Jackson. <laughs> How Michael Jackson would respond to the meaning of life. Dancing and my kids mean the world to me. <laughs> good, good. All right. Um, comments you don't want to hear in the birthing room. Five toes. No, um, I'm not sure. Actually, there's a little knob on there. Does that count as a toe? <laughs> Good. Tricks not to play on blind people. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? I'm over here. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Tricks not to play on blind people. For me too. Yep. Yeah. see um, bad high school cheerleader cheers you were a cheerleader weren't you yeah <laughs> <laughs> Kick him in the knee, rah rah rass, kick him in the other knee. <laughs> ah, bad things to do in a thunderstorm. Uh, hey, I found this lightning rod. Y'all want to go on the roof? <laughs> okay, bad things to do in a thunderstorm. Good, 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 good. Okay. What the occupants of the Garden of Eden would say after Adam and Eve. What who would say? The occupants of the Garden of Eden, Eden after Adam and Eve. The occupants. And here is where the apple tree um, was, where uh, Eve found she was of her nakedness, and thus sin began. <laughs> We're anxious to get off there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. What mosquitoes are thinking while sucking your blood? I'm going to suck out all of your blood. Okay. <laughs> what girls can do together, but not boys. So I think we should totally do each other's toenails tonight. What do you think? Yeah, I got blue. I don't know anything about Star Wars. <laughs> Is that your line or is that what you're saying to me? <laughs> it's my line. <laughs> it's funny end on that. I answer these questions um, directly to Abigail. First of all, uh, the good thing about being an actor is that you get to create different sides of yourself. Can elaborate if you'd like, or if you're good, that's fine. I'm good. Okay. Um, and repeat the question or the statement um, when I say that. So, I've always uh, fill, fill in the blank here. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to be a writer and an actor um, to free my creativity in ways that I don't get to in a normal way. <laughs> Why? Because everybody from the time you're younger tells you you need to grow up, go to college, get a job, have a family, and that's what you get to do with your life when there's really a whole world that you get to experience outside of those four things. I'm most passionate about? I'm most passionate about... Um, being a good mom and still um, giving my time for myself. I'm so proud of the fact that I... I'm so proud of the fact that I am not normal. <laughs> that I make the best out of absolutely everything and that I don't feel the need to conform to anybody's standards. When I was a little girl. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a writer and I would make up stories and make my entire family sit and listen to them and I would make them watch all of my impressions of Steve Urkel, which was embarrassing now that they have videos. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, something I would like to change in my life is? Something I would like to change in my life is um, I would like to make more money acting. <laughs> I need to sign up on that roster. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Tell me about Ashley. Okay. <laughs> um well, I think what's important to you is being yourself and not um, having to feel influenced um, by what everyone else is doing and what's expected of everyone these days, which is to go to college. And I think um, you're really proud of that, um, and you should be. Um, and is this more like complimenting than telling us a... <laughs> doesn't have to be complimenting her. Okay. I just want you to tell me about her. What did, what have you uh, perceived about her and the answers that she gave to you? Okay, and um, I think you also um, think it's important um, to be able to be a good mother and you know still not feel like, oh my gosh, my kid's driving me crazy. Um, and, I mean, I, mm. Relax. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything else. I mean. Tell me, tell me what, you know, yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thanks.
So, do I talk about you in third so, person? Yeah. <laughs> nope, tell me, tell me about me. Okay, so you're um, very proud about being a father and um, about your career. It sounds like you're really busy getting things done and um, like with putting together all the students' compilations and um, um, Even with all just that. being really proud of your students so and the work that, that you've been doing kind of for the past eight years, as um, and working older, towards a goal you still of kind of embrace that inner child, you know, producing you back into and that being and a to go to work recognized more actor more fun nationally. Fun and come to lucrative um, and really profession. I think it's interesting yeah, uh, that you want you to have a lot of do, you know, so like, I guess the feel good, like the good so kind of kind of using that so films. Like you said, you walk away and feeling good about it. Um, not something like crude or dirty. This um, actor and because that's step. usually what to um, see that has been to in films. And Unfortunately, it's so yeah. and so <laughs> people yeah, make it to so sell it. Yeah, and yeah. definitely. Um, step sounds like your childhood is pretty normal. Um, you know, being a kid, ultimately playing around so being outside and on video games. Uh, and sounds and like you um, might have had a rough high school, like everybody does. You know, awkward years and then being thrown away from your friends and everything. <laughs> but it sounds like you're covered. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, I'm not that stuck. Enough, stubborn enough One to more thing. It, but. One more thing. Take and determine. Um, tell um, tell the other person um, some qualitative personality. What what you think that you have learned about their personality and who they are. Not about what they do and who they are and how they think and operate. Maybe. The harder question. I think I'm paying attention to that, but. Um, <laughs> Externally, yeah. Um, I think you're faith driven. You definitely like got good conscious. You know, you want to do the right thing. You want to have fun. You're definitely like a like a father figure for your children, but then also I can see that with your students who you know want to make sure that they're doing the right thing and you know helping to elevate them and um, their professions. Um, so you're kind of a mentor also. Um, so it's like you take pride in that. And, um, and I think overall you're confident and you have a structured plan and very goal oriented um, and as we would say red personality or like a doer, like plan it and do it. Um. Good. That's what you needed to be able to take and you know, absorb is the, uh, the content of who that person is. So well done. Camera and action. Um, it's a hard thing deciding what I should tell you and what not to. Well, anyway, um, I've got a while before you're old enough to understand these tapes. Um, it's more for me at this point, um, to get it all straight. Um, should I tell you about your father? Um, it's a tough one. Um, Will it change your decision to send him here knowing? Or, um, but if you don't send Kyle, uh, you will never be God. <laughs> can make a pers person go crazy thinking of all this. Um, but I suppose I should tell you, um, I owe him that. And maybe if you know enough, even though we've had you know a few hours together we really loved, uh, each other a lifetime. Cool. Okay. Done. Okay. Cut. <laughs> and rolling and action. Um, it's a hard thing deciding um, what I should tell you and what not to. But, um, well, anyway. I have a while before you're old enough to understand these tapes, and um, at this point they're more for me uh, to get it all straight. So, um, should I tell you about your father? Uh, it's a tough one. Um, will it change your decision to send him here? Knowing, um, but if you don't send Kyle, then you can never be... Um, 
I suppose I should tell you. Um, I owe him that, and um, maybe if you know enough, you'll know that even though we've only had a few hours together, um, we loved enough for a whole lifetime. Camera speed and action. The worst thing that ever happened to me was on Christmas. Oh God, it was horrible. It was Christmas Eve. I was nine years old. Me and mom were decorating the Christmas tree waiting for dad to come home from work. A couple of hours went by. Dad still wasn't home. So my mom called the office. No answer. Christmas Day came and went, and still nothing. So the police started a search. Four or five days went by. Neither one of us could eat or sleep. Everything was falling apart. It was snowing outside. The house was freezing, so I tried to go and light up the fire. And that's when I noticed the smell. The fireman came and broke through the chimney top. And me and Mom were expecting them to pull out a dead cat or bird. And instead, they pulled out my father. <laughs> he was dressed in a Santa Claus suit. He had been climbing down the chimney on Christmas Eve, his arms loaded with presents. He was going to surprise us. He slipped and broke his neck. He died instantly. And that's how I found out there's no Santa Claus. Cut. Camera speed and action. The worst thing that ever happened to me was on Christmas. Oh God, it was horrible. It was Christmas Eve, I was nine years old. Me and mom were decorating the tree, waiting for dad to get home from work. A couple of hours went by and dad still wasn't home. So mom called the office, no answer. Christmas day came and went, still nothing. So the police began a search. Four or five days went by. Neither one of us could eat or sleep. Everything was falling apart. It was snowing outside. The house was freezing, so I tr went to try and light up the fireplace. And that's when I noticed the smell. The fireman came and broke through the chimney top. And me and mom were expecting him to pull out a dead cat or bird, and instead he pulled out my father. He was wearing a Santa Claus suit. <laughs> he was climbing down the chimney on Christmas Eve, his arms loaded with presents. He was going to surprise us. slipped and broke his neck. He died instantly. And that's how I found out there was no Santa Claus. Good. Wave camera speed. Okay. And I hate the way action. Oh, sorry. Don't Can break character. Over? Yep. Okay. Keep going. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. 
I hate the way you drive my car. I hate the way you stare. I hate the way you think you're right. Oh no, I messed up. Don't break character. Improv. Improv. Make up lines as you go okay. until you get back on track. You mean start over? Nope. Keep going okay. where you are. I hate the way you're always right. I'm just freezing up. Okay. And woman <laughs> pregnant with triplets, husband rushing her to the hospital, and action. What letter are we uh, C for cannon. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, get in the car. There Doug, we go. Doug, I'm thinking the baby's coming. Everything is going to be fine. Just sit down. Sit down. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll get you the car. Pull <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Okay, oh, my God, this baby's coming out. There we go. No, no, no. It's... You better drive faster. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to make it. And I think you got out of there, didn't you? <laughs> we got out of there. Where were we? I thought we were in the car. We are. Gee. All right, you're I, pregnant I, I, now. I said F already. I was continuing because she didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I'm out. <laughs> well, you're okay. G. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Gosh, everything will be fine. Just listen to me, okay? Hurry up, Hurry up please, please, please. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not going to speed just to get our babies delivered in time. Jesus, you better. If not, we're, I'm going to make sure you die this Hey, hey, calm down. Oh, Lord, please, please, just let these babies wait. Just, how many, how many more minutes until we're there? Maybe five. Dane, swap out. <laughs> She's gone. It's exhausting, Pansy. It's tiring. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going. Action. You're on end. Now, where are we? Overton Road. Please, I'm not kidding when I say hurry up. What? Ah, get out of here. <laughs> Quincy Street? Oh, shit. Really? Lost. Really? Quincy Street? Really? <sighs> Sorry, I, I took the wrong turn. I'm back on the freeway. We'll be there in just a minute, honey. Time Don't worry. Don't worry. We're almost is there. Is that the essence? <sighs> urinate. You don't have to urinate, do you? <laughs> You're not going to urinate all over my car, are you? Yes, yes, you know I just got this BMW. Do you know right now? That's what you're going to ask me. Oh, wow, I am not ready for this. This is just, oh, inner monologue. X is what is going to be on your gravestone if you don't get me there now. Yes, honey. Zephyrton, we're only on Zephyrton. <laughs> no, you read that wrong. It's <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Hey. Hey. According to the GPS, we are not on whatever sun. We are on Quincy Street. Besides uh, reading, why aren't you driving? Can't you see I'm actually driving? I'm trying to get us to the hospital. Dear, I am trying to be polite. But that's going to be the last thing on my list if we are not in the hospital in like five seconds. Everything is about you, isn't it? Gosh. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not <laughs> the one having babies, okay? I'm just the one that's harvesting them or something. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> God. You know, I don't understand why you have to have so many of them. Isn't three enough? Haven't I done enough? <laughs> I know, I know. You produce everything. You're lovely, dear. You're going to be fine. We'll be there soon, okay? Just thank you for being there, okay? Just, just know that. Okay. 
camera speed, and action. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate the way you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you always write. I hate your... Use your script. Um, I hate you so much it makes me sick. Um, it even makes me rhyme. I hate the way you always write. I hate it when you lie. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse, when you make me cry. Uh, I hate that you're not around and the fact that you didn't call, but mostly what I hate about you is that I don't hate you, not even a little, not even at all. I messed up. Camera speed and Action. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate the way you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind. I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me rhyme. I hate the way you're always right. I hate it when you lie. I hate it when you make me laugh, even worse when you make me cry. I hate that you're not around and the fact that you didn't call, but mostly I hate, I don't, I hate that I don't hate you, not even a little bit, not even close, not even at all. And camera speed and action. Mr. Bates, may I please speak with you? By what word of the imagination? I mean, like, how could I, like, get an F? What mistakes did I make? This was a college-level essay, and I have the credentials to prove it. Well, in the words of Hamlet, what's done is done. That's Macbeth, you nimrod! Oh. Elton Bates? Uh, Griffith High School? <laughs> uh, well, you asked me, I mean my mom, to the prom, but she turned you down. Wait, are you trying to get back at her daughter for standing you up? It was a high school dance! <laughs> Come on, get over it, man! And if you don't, I'm sure the school board would love to hear about your, <clears throat> excuse me, your pathetic vendetta against an innocent student. Oh, and by the way, Elton, she had a boyfriend, and you were kind of weird. And cut camera, camera speed, and action. Mr. Bates, um, may I please speak with you? By what stretch of the imagination? I mean, like, how could I, like, make an F? What mistakes do you see here? This was a college-level essay. I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm most certainly capable of producing such thing. Well, in the words of Hamlet, what's done is done. That's Macbeth, you nimwot rod! Bates. Elton Bates? Griffith High School? You asked me, I mean my mom, to the prom, and she stood you up. Wait, are you trying to get back at her daughter for not taking your up your whatever to the prom? <laughs> it was a high school dance. I mean, come on, get over it, move on with your life. And if you don't, I'm sure the school board would love to hear about your pathetic vendetta against this innocent student. 
Oh, and by the way, Elton, she had a boyfriend, and you were kind of weird. Camera speed and action. What shall we die for then? You will listen to me. Listen! The Brethren Court will still look here to us, to the Black Pearl to lead. And what will they see? Frightened rats aboard a derelict ship. No. No, they will see free people and freedom. And what the enemy will see is the flash of our cannons. And they will hear the ring of our swords and they will know who we are. So, by the sweat on our brows and by the strength of our backs and by the courage in our hearts, Gentlemen, hoist the colors! Camera speed and action. Then what shall we die for? You will listen to me. Listen! The Brethren Court will still look here to us, to the Black Pearl to lead. And what will they see? Frightened bilge rats aboard a derelict ship? No. No, they will see free men and freedom. And what the enemy will see is the flash of our cannons. And they will hear the ring of our swords and they will know who we are. So, by the sweat on our brows and by the strength in our backs, and by the courage in our hearts. Gentlemen, hoist the colors. Camera speed and action. Well, there are two main entrances to the building. So if I go in the front and you go in the back, we can flank them and meet up in the middle. Flank them? You've been watching too many heist movies. I'm just saying that if we can divide our forces, we have a better chance of coming out with the prize. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, this is all a little crazy. Crazy is good. It's almost like we are Thelma and Louise. Where's our Brad Pitt? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You know, I'm not going to be driving off the edge of the cliff with you. I love you and all, but oh, not that much. This is going to be so exciting. <laughs> Calm down. We still have to figure out how we're going to actually get out of this thing alive. Well, the main teller is here. So, mm -hmm. if we... Oh, and the security cameras are here, here, and here. So if we can manage to keep our backs towards them... We should be good. Do we get to wear any masks? If we did, what kind of masks were you thinking? <clears throat> I have this old strawberry shortcake mask from a long time ago. Do you really think that will still fit you? I mean, probably not. Did you have any in mind? Not sure yet. What about that security guard? Does he have a gun? <laughs> Yeah, but he's like really old and he goes to the bathroom like eight times a day. Ew, gross! <laughs> well, I think we're all set here, so now all we have to do is wait till the third. <laughs> what are you doing? Practicing my moves. You look like an injured duck trying to run a three-legged race. That's why I'm practicing. Okay, then. I'm gonna go get us some masks. All right, everybody. Stay calm. Cut. Camera speed.
and character, 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 action. Well, there are two main entrances to the building. So if I go in the front and you go in the back, we can flank them and meet up in the middle. Flank them? You've been watching way too many heist movies. I am just saying that if we divide our forces, we have more chance of coming out with the prize. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a little crazy. I know, but crazy is good. It's almost like we are Thelma and Louise. Yeah, where's our Brad Pitt? <laughs> Look, I love you and all, but there's no way I'm going to be driving off of a cliff. I'm just so excited. We still have to figure out how we're going to get out of this thing alive and not getting caught. Mm -hmm. Well, the main teller is here, and the security cameras are here, here, and here. So if we can keep our backs towards them, mm -hmm. we should be okay. And we get to wear some masks, too? If we did, what kind were you thinking? Well, I have this old strawberry shortcake mask from when I was really young. Do you honestly think that'll still fit you? I mean, probably not. What did you have in mind? I'm not sure yet. What about the security guard? Does he have a gun? <laughs> Frank? Yeah, but he's like really old and he goes to the bathroom like eight times a day. <sighs> oh! <Gross. laughs> Well, I think, I think we're set to go, and now we just have to wait till the third. What are you doing? I'm practicing my moves. Do you look like an injured duck trying to run a three-legged race? And that is why I'm practicing. Okay, I'm going to go get us the mask. All right, everybody, stay calm. Camera speed and action. No. Camera speed and energy, 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 action. There are two entrances to the building, so if I go in the front and you go in the back, we can flank them and meet in the middle. Flank them? You've been watching too many high movies. I am just saying that if we can divide forces, we have a better chance of coming out with the prize. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. This is going to be so exciting. All right, calm down. We still have to figure out how we're going to get out of this thing alive. Are you sure you still want to do this? I mean, this is a little crazy. I know, but crazy is good. It's almost like we are Thelma and Louise. <laughs> we're Thelma and Louise. Where's our Brad Pitt? Look, I love you and all, but there's no way I'm going to be driving off the edge of a cliff with you. Well, the main bank teller is here, and the security cameras are here, here, and here. So if we can manage to keep our backs towards the end, mm -hmm. yes. we should be good. Are we going to be wearing any masks? If we did, what kind of masks were you thinking? I have this old strawberry shortcake mask from a long time ago. Do you honestly think that's still going to fit? I mean, probably not, but did you have anything in mind? Not sure yet. What about the security guard? Does he have a gun? <laughs> Frank? Yeah, but he's like really old and he goes to the bathroom like eight times a day. Ugh, gross! <laughs> Well, I think we're all good to go here. Now all we have to do is wait till the third. 
What are you doing? Practicing my moves. But you look like an injured duck running a three-legged race. That's why I'm practicing. Okay. I'm gonna go get us some masks. All right, everybody. Stay calm. On camera. And action. Summer, hello. Hey, Mrs. Cohen. Can I come in? Uh, sure. Is everything okay? I'm here to get over Seth. Excuse me? My therapist said that the best chance I have of moving on in my life is to divest myself of all of Seth's material possessions. I gotta dump off a bunch of his crap. Right. Got it. My therapist says it's my best chance at ever again vibrating at a high frequency. Vibrating at a high frequency? Lynn Grabhorn? What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Okay. Human beings all have an electrochemical currency running through them, which is affected by their emotions. So when you're feeling happy or joyful, that current or, or energy um, is vibrating at a higher frequency than when you're feeling sad or angry with, say, Seth Cohen. And, well, you see, um, when you're vibrating at a higher frequency, you're more likely to attract happy people than when you're vibrating at a low, uh, sad, bitter at Cohen frequency. It's the law of attraction in physics. Well, you know where to find his room. Thanks. Summer, for the record, if he wasn't my son, I'd be doing the same thing. Camera and... Action. Summer, hello. Hey, Mrs. Cohen, can I come in? Uh, sure. Is everything okay? I'm here to get over Seth. Excuse me. Well, my therapist said that I should move on with my life, and the best way to do that is by divesting myself of all Seth's material possessions. I gotta dump off a bunch of his crap. Right. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my therapist says it's my best chance at ever again vibrating at a higher frequency. Vibrating at a higher frequency? Lynn Goodhorn? Hello, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? Okay, so human beings have an electrochemical currency running through them, and it's effect which is affected by our emotions. So, like, say you're feeling happy or joyful. Um, so what happens is you're going to be vibrating at a higher currency. Um, rather than when you're feeling sad or angry, say, at Seth Cohen. So, when you're vibrating at a higher frequency, you're more likely to attract happy people than when you're vibrating at a low, sad, bitter at Cohen frequency. I learned it in physics. Well, you know where to find his room. Thanks. And Summer, uh, for the record, if he wasn't my son, I'd be doing the same thing. Let me cut. Why? I'm supposed to be red. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I just don't understand you. Okay. Um, sure, sure, yeah. It's you. <laughs> you said the T? Yeah. Twoke. <laughs> you can't understand them when you don't speak English.
Is it have to be real? Am I on you? Yep. Un this is unbelievable. This is just great. Very, very good. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. You've got to be kidding me. Serro tapas, please. Uh, uh, Come on, more dialogue. <laughs> Work the story forward. Come on, give me lines. Dialogue to build the story. Cash only. Dinero. Dinero. I have dinero. It's you're speaking Spanish, right? I've definitely got dinero. How much? Exactly four hundred dollar. Four hundred US dollars? Got it? Honey. That's way too much money. I'm sorry, this is not. I don't else. understand you. Gee. You're joking, you're joking, right? Kisses! Oh, Lord. Was my, my. So tense. No, 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 no. That's too hard. Too hard. Softer. Softer. Soft. Oh, like this. Please, no, no, no. Oh, I got a pain right there. Quite heavy boot. <laughs> right, right, right. Normally I get this massage without the boot sewing, but you insisted. Smooth boot. Smooth boot. Totally smooth. I mean, th this is nice leather, you know. I mean, you don't have to massage the leather. It's. Are you a shoe doctor? Ukrainian. Very nice. You're Ukrainian. Is that what you're trying to tell me? What are you saying? A uh, cut. Action. Debbie Reynolds, I just have to say, you are so old now. What is it like looking back on all your movies? Exactly which one are you referring? For example, Singing in the Rain. I mean, that's a classic. Gotcha, one of my absolute favorites. What would you like to know about that? How about what was it like working with Gene Kelly? I always thought they were terrible in that, that role, to be honest. Jesus, you thought Gene T Kelly was terrible? Kinetic energy just wasn't there, you know? Goes a long way in a, in a film like that. Lovely. Eh, too long! <laughs> Can I switch the actor? No. <laughs> yep, you, gotta you gotta take the same character that she had. Lovely, darling. Um, tell me more. What? What was your favorite role and and why? Mine would have to be the Loving Hearts because I was the queen and queens rule everything. Nobility that is really so regal. You you almost have a regal aura about you. Um, do you find this? Um, did you get this from your childhood and your upbringing? Off and on, yes. I was treated quite. Um, Noble, like in my own household, you know, I'm always mommy and daddy's little princess. So the queen wasn't that far away. Precisely. And so, what do you do now with your time? Quiet time is a lot where I, you know, focus and uh, regenerate the creativity within myself. Dang. Not just Mars. This is the beginning of a new era. 
Uranus is like five planets away. It's not that big a deal. That'd be a bigger deal. Venus is not that far, but I mean, we're still on Mars. Wow, look at the size of that. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Zion Mars is what it reminds me of. I'll pick up where you left off. Closer together. Closer together. There you go. Wow! Is that a Martian up there? Xylophones are what it looks like. You know, it could be a xylophone playing Martian. I think we better get a little closer. Zoos? That's what I'm thinking of right now, Zeus. I don't know why. And <laughs> cop out. <laughs> hey. 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 For me. Yeah. Uh, I always get stuck on A. Andrea, what do you want to do on Mars? What's the first thing you want to do on Mars? Basically, we need a selfie. Capture it. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right. Okay, let's go. Ding! <laughs> Did you just get an email on Mars? Everybody can get emails on Mars. Can't you? Don't you get service? For sure. <laughs> Jeez. What are we going to do with our time? There's so much red lava. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Interact with each other. Touch, work. How am I supposed to know? I mean, we were here for a reason. You're the smart one. Jesse, the girl who surfs and is on Mars right now, how did I make that decision? It's, I'm the smart one. Okay, you need to stop playing tricks on me. You're the whole reason I came to Mars in the first place, because you said you knew there was water source. Lame. That's not what I said. Oh, man. Then what? Why did you want to come here? No reason. I just thought it would be fun to go to Mars. I didn't realize we would have to stay the entire time. Oh, well, we can leave. I mean, here, this is... It's gonna port us out, right? Yeah, port us out. That's what it's gonna do.